armed forces of Ukraine, is the military of Ukraine. They are the principal deterrent force against any aggression, that could be shown against the sovereign state of Ukraine. All military and security forces, including the armed forces, are under the command of the President of Ukraine, and subject to oversight, by a permanent work of Narada Parliamentary Commission. The armed forces of Ukraine, are composed of the Ukrainian ground forces, the Ukrainian Navy, the Ukrainian Air Force, and the Ukrainian Air Mobile Forces. Ukraine's naval forces, maintain their own small Ukrainian naval infantry force, as well as their own Ukrainian naval aviation force. The Ukrainian Sea Guard, is the Coast Guard Service of Ukraine, however, it is part of the State Border Guard, Service of Ukraine, and is not subordinate to the Navy. As a result of the Russian military intervention in Ukraine from 2014, the President commissioned governors of oblasts of Ukraine, to create volunteer units, under the government program Territorial Defense Forces. Initially these units received minimal funding coming, from regional budgets, and mostly relied on donations. In November 2014, most of the Territorial Defense Battalions, were integrated into Ukraine's ground forces. The National Guard of Ukraine, serves as the main reserve component, of the armed forces of Ukraine. Following hostilities with Russia, Ukraine increased the size, of its armed forces, to 204,000 soldiers, plus 46,000 civil servants, in 2014, not counting additional military forces, such as the Border Guards, 53,000, the newly formed National Guard of Ukraine, 60,000, or the Security Service. The, current size of Ukraine's armed forces, which consists of 250,000, 215,000 military personnel, is the largest in Europe, and second in the region after the Russian armed forces. In 2022, President Zelensky ordered to increase the size, of the forces by 100,000 by 2025, while ending conscription in 2024. Conscription will be replaced, with short-term intensive military training. Military units of, other states participate, in multinational military exercises, with the Ukrainian forces in Ukraine regularly. Many of these exercises are held, under the NATO Cooperation Program Partnership for Peace. Since June 3, 2016, women have been allowed, to serve in combat units of the armed forces. Ukraine has been playing an increasingly larger role, in peacekeeping operations. Since 1992, over 30,000 soldiers have taken part in missions, in the former Yugoslavia, IFR in Bosnia and Herzegovina, APROFOR, and UNTS in Croatia, FAR in Kosovo, the Middle East, Southern Lebanon, Kuwait, Iraq, and Africa, Angola, Sierra Leone, Liberia. Since 1997, Ukraine has been working closely, with, NATO and especially with Poland. A Ukrainian unit was deployed, as part of the multinational force in Iraq, under Polish command. Ukrainian troops are also deployed, as part of the Ukrainian-Polish battalion, Ukropolbit, in Kosovo. The total Ukrainian military deployment, around the world as of August 1, 2009, was 540 servicemen participating, in 8 peacekeeping missions the first battle of irregular, formation, of the Ukrainian armed forces happened on April 6, 2004, in Kut, Iraq, when the Ukrainian peacekeeping contingent, was attacked by militants of the Mahdi army. The Ukrainians took fire, and over several hours held the objectives they had been assigned to secure. Ukrainian troops as part, of the former Soviet armed forces, contingent participated in APROFOR in 1992, and in the summer, of that year, were involved into the civil war in Yugoslavia. On July 3, 1992, the Verk of Narada adopted a resolution committing, the Ukrainian armed forces, to UN peacekeeping missions. The Minister of Defense, Kostyantin Morozov, ordered the creation of the 240th, separate, special battalion, Ukrobit 1, which was based on the 93rd Guards Motor Rifle Division, now the 93rd Mechanized Brigade. 
Soon after arrival in Sarajevo on July 31, 1992, the battalion's artillery ended up, in the middle of a mutual mortar fight, between the Bosnian Serbs and Bosnian Muslims. One of the Serbian shells hit the Ukrainian position, seriously wounding seven soldiers, one of whom died, after hospitalization in Germany. Since gaining independence Ukraine, has deployed troops to Iraq, Afghanistan, Kosovo, as well as dedicating peacekeepers to UN missions to Africa, including helicopter units. Ukrainian naval units also participated in anti-piracy operations, off the coast of Somalia prior to being recalled, due to the 2014 Russian intervention in Ukraine. On January 19, 2015, Ukraine's 18th separate helicopter detachment along, with other MONUSCO troops carried, out a successful operation eliminating two camps belonging, to illegal armed groups and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. On March 2, 2014, the Ukrainian armed forces, were placed on full alert following a Russian military intervention in Crimea. On March 19, 2014, Ukraine drew plans to withdraw all its troops and their families to the mainland quickly and efficiently. And this year, Ukraine went into conflict with Russia, which sparked World War III. For 2022, Ukraine is ranked 22 of 140 out of the countries considered for the annual GFP review. It holds a PWR rank score of 0.3266. With a population of approx 43,745,640 inhabitants. And has 200,000 active personnel. As well as 250,000 reserve personnel. And 50,000 paramilitaries. With a defense budget of around, 11,870,000,000 US dollar. For the Air Force. Ukraine has 140 total aircraft strength. A total of 69 fighters, interceptors, and 29 dedicated attacks. As well as 32 transports. As well as 71 aircraft trainers. Also has 5 special mission. But don't have tanker fleet. However it has 112 helicopters. And equipped with 34 attack helicopters. For the army. Ukraine has 2,599 tanks and 12,303 armored vehicles, and 1,067 self-propelled artillery, and also has 2040 towed artillery, and equipped with 490 rocket projectors. For the Navy, Ukraine has 38 total assets, namely 1 frigates, and 1 ship corvettes, and 13 patrol vessels, as well as 1 mine warfare, 